On this video, we'll be covering playback and backup with the NVR. To get started on the NVR, you have to make sure you have a USB drive in either the front or back USB of the NVR itself. Once you have the USB installed in the NVR, we're going to jump into the playback menu. Depending on how long it's been since you've been in the menus, it will probably require you to either enter your pattern or your password. Once you have that in, you will go into the playback menu where you'll see all of your cameras on the left hand side with the calendar underneath the cameras where you'll select the date that you want to play back and then the timeline under the camera view itself where you'll select the specific time of the day that you want to view. The timeline can be adjusted using the adjustment scale here on the right side. Clicking it will just change the intervals that show up on the timeline, making it easier to select a specific time. Once you've kind of dialed that portion in and gotten it around the event that you're looking for, what you can do to start recording is to use the clipping scissors. The uh, clipping scissors are an icon down on the bottom bar that look like a pair of scissors. And once you click them, they will show you these brackets and you will slide the brackets to encapsulate the event that you're trying to record. After you have the event inside of the brackets, go ahead and click the scissors again to save that video clip. You'll see here now that the folder next to it has a red dot. And if you click it, you will see the camera and the time frame. Clicking backup will allow you to send that to your USB drive. Uh, if you want to save it into a specific folder, you can click the new folder button and name that folder something that is relevant to the event. After you create the folder, you will need to double click the folder to go into it. And then you can click the backup button and it will export the video file into the USB drive. Once it has successfully made the backup, click OK. And then you can click cancel on this menu and the menu before to get back out of that screen. Next, we're going to go on to playback using the Easy View app. So on the Easy View app, first you need to make sure that you're on the device that you want to view the camera on. You get started by hitting the three lines, going to devices, and then selecting the specific NVR you want to view. Once you have the camera that you're looking to do the recordings on, you can actually do some of it during live view. You can hit the snapshot button to save an individual picture of what you're currently looking at, or you can hit the record icon to start recording live view, and it will continue to record until you hit it a second time, and it will then save the video clip. These video clips can be found in the picture and video folder, and you can Watch them back here, and I'll show you in a little bit how to save them to your phone. So moving back into the recorder, hitting the playback button at the bottom of the screen will allow you to retrieve any stored video that's on the NVR. There is both a date and a timeline. If you move the timeline itself, it will automatically update and give you more uh, playback video as you move it further back in time. And you can use the snapshot button and the record button just like I showed you in live view to save video clips of what you are currently looking at. Once you have saved a video clip within here, you can go back into picture and video and you can use the export button, which is the center icon to save that video clip or picture file onto your phone's gallery. Now we'll go back into the playback menu. And this time we're gonna hit where it has the date listed. This will bring up the calendar view where you can select a specific date and time to start your playback. Once you have selected the specific date and time that you wanna view, you can click OK at the bottom of the screen to start the playback. Now you can click record again to start saving this video clip. Clicking it a second time will finalize that video clip and save it onto your pictures and video folder on the app. Next, we're going to do playback with the Easy Station desktop software. Click the playback menu in the control panel to get started. Next, you're going to see all of your NVRs on the left side. Clicking the plus icon next to them will list your individual cameras. 
and then you can select the camera you want to play back then use the calendar below it to select the specific date that you would like to start playing back after clicking the day that you want to play back click search and then it will populate your timeline under the camera view you can click anywhere on the timeline and it will update on the screen showing you that time of day of the recording there is two icons over on the far right side. These are used to adjust the intervals on the timeline just like on the NVR, making it easier to select a specific time on the bar. After you have found the incident that you are looking for on your timeline, go ahead and double click the camera to make it go full screen. And at the bottom of the actual live camera view, there is an icon that looks like a pair of scissors again. You'll click those once to start recording and clicking them a second time will save that video clip. When using the EasyStation software, it saves these video clips to the video folder specified in the settings. So clicking OK will begin that download into your local computer files. Now I'm just going to go ahead and select a different camera to do playback on. So on that same left sidebar where all of your NVRs are listed, you can select a different camera. And the calendar view will be updated with its footage. Clicking search will bring up the timeline for that new camera. And then you can select the time frame on the timeline that you want to play back again. Also, if you'd like to see the camera bigger, there is a full screen icon on the side. Uh, from this view, you can double click the screen to go into a multi view again or hit escape to go back out of the full screen mode. So, double clicking the screen will make it go to full size here, and we can click the scissors just like we did before to start saving the video clip. Just wait until the end of whatever incident you want to save and then you can click the scissors a second time and it will allow you to save that video clip onto your local computer. After clicking the scissors the second time to save the video clip, you can actually view your progress on this as well. So hit OK and then click View Task and it'll show you the download progress on the screen. Here you can also stop the video you can open the folder it'll be saved in or delete that video clip. So if I click to open the folder, I will get the local folder on Windows. And here we just need to wait for it to finish downloading. So give it just a second and it should be about finished. Okay, and now the video file is done. Now if you double click on that video file, it will play it with whatever video player you're using to view these files. Uh, sometimes the native video player in Windows is not a great option. I use VLC Media Player to play them back, which can be downloaded for free on their website. After you've viewed your video files, uh, you can go ahead and close all these windows out and hit close here. And if you want to close the playback menu, just close the tab and you'll be back on the main control panel on the EasyStation software.